Carly, I hope you're all well. So I am back at long last. Um, I really, really, really am sorry for not recording in such a long time. Um, I know I've been really bad. Um, but as I briefly mentioned in the last video that I put up, which actually was an old video, um, myself and my family have been suffering from the neurovirus, which I'm pretty sure you will have heard about on the news and stuff. It's basically a sickness, a sickness and diarrhea bug, um, but it's like really, really bad and it makes you really, really ill. And then, um, like the worst bit lasts sort of about 24 hours, and then after that, you just feel so like weak and horrible and I've just been in no fit state to film whatsoever so I do apologize but it was really something that I couldn't help at all but I'm back now and I'm hoping that I won't be going away um for a long time now hopefully nothing else will happen um so yes I hope that you're all okay and not suffering from this awful bug as well um because it is horrible um and especially for me because I hate being sick. I don't know if any of you guys um, are the same, but I hate being sick. So it's been a bit of a nightmare for me. But um, yeah, as I say, I'm on the road to recovery now. I'm still not 100%, still a bit tired, and but I'm much, much better than I was. So that's a result. Um, so today I'm going to do a book review. Um, I know that I did promise you a haul also in the last video that I put up. And I will be doing a haul. Um, unfortunately, we've also had snow where I live. And um, I live on a hill. And when there's a bit of snow, literally it's impossible to come up or down the hill because it's like an ice slope. Um, it's like a ski slope. So we've been able to have no deliveries and stuff. So they've kind of all kind of gone behind. So um, I'm still waiting for my package. But it sh I'm going to pick up something very exciting tomorrow, which will be in my haul. And then the books should hopefully be here either tomorrow or Friday. Um, so as soon as they're here, I'll film that haul and I'll get it straight up for you. Um, so you're going to have to make do with the book haul today. And the book I'm going to be reviewing is Unwind by Neil Schusterman, which looks like this. Um, it's taken me a bit longer to read this because I was. this is how ill I was. I didn't even have the energy to read. Like That's how much it takes from you. I couldn't even like face holding a book and reading so um it's taking me a little bit longer but i finished it just this morning actually so it's kind of fresh in my mind to do this review um so i'll read you the back and then i'll tell you what i thought so it says the process by which a child is both terminated and yet kept alive is called unwinding unwinding is now a common and accepted practice in society in a society where unwanted teens are salvaged for their body parts Three runaways fight the system that would unwind them. Brought together by chance and kept together by desperation, these unlikely companions make a harrowing cross-country journey, knowing their lives hang in the balance. If they can survive until their 18th birthday, they can't be harmed. But when every piece of them from their hands to their heart is wanted by a world gone mad, 18 seems far, far away. So I put off reading this book for a long, long time because it had so much hype surrounding it. And I think I've mentioned before, I don't really read books where there is a lot of hype because a lot of the time I'm disappointed or I get a bit bored of hearing about them. So this has just been sat on my shelf. And um, I finally picked it up a couple of weeks ago now. And I was like, okay, I'm going to give it a start now. I haven't heard a little bit about it for a while, so I'm going to give it a go. And I'm so angry with myself that I didn't listen to the hype and start it before. Because it is incredible. And it so deserved every single piece of hype that it got. This book deserved and it deserves more. I have never read a book like it and I don't think I'll ever read a book like it again. Um, it's just such an original concept. So obviously we follow the story of three runaway unwinds. Um called Connor, Risa and Lev. Now for three very different reasons they're being unwound. Connor is always getting into trouble um, and so his parents decide to unwind him. Risa doesn't have a mum or a dad, she's kind of owned by the state and they decide that there's no more use for her. And then you have Lev who is has been raised to believe that he is a tithe, like he has been born to sacrifice himself, you know, for God or whatever. 
and they are all being unwound for those reasons and it starts off hearing from Connor's point of view and he is running away and he ends up causing this crash um, on this busy motorway and two of the people on this motorway at that time both going to their unwindings is Risa and Lev and they end up coming together the way Neil Shusterman did it, the way he linked all these stories so closely together was amazing and they come together and they basically go on the run and they try to hide out and survive until they're 18 because you can only legally be unwound between the age of 13 and 18 once you reach 18 you can't be unwound anymore, your parents have no say so they go on the run basically and throughout this book you hear from a lot of different people's point of views for example um, they find a baby that's been stalked which basically means that the mother has left it on the doorstep of somebody else because she can't look after it or she doesn't want it and like the chapter before you've heard from the mother and you've watched her go and put that baby on the doorstep and it's just so amazing like when I sort of started to realise that I was going to hear from a lot of different people throughout this book I thought it was going to be confusing but the way Neil Shusterman did it couldn't have been any easy to follow it was just so like oh yeah that makes sense oh yeah I see how that joined it was just it was absolutely incredible and I enjoyed it so much from the first page to the last page I was on the edge of my seat willing these children to stay safe because that's all they were and imagine your parents just deciding they don't want you anymore they're gonna send you away to have all your body parts salvaged from you you know just imagine that and I love horror books and people kept saying to me um, oh there's some really creepy bits in this book and I was kinda of like mm, it's not gonna be creepy like a ghost story actually I found it more creepy than a ghost story the fact that in our society now this could actually happen this is a liable thing that could happen like you know your parents could just decide they didn't want you and you know that 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 um, process of unwinding could happen and I found that even more scary and there was one particular chapter at the end which um, Amber Pepper did tell me about she kept saying to me there's this really creepy chapter at the end where you actually see the unwinding of this boy and it's so terrifying because you're kept alive throughout this process and you're just like you're there in this room and it's like you're watching from a distance as slowly each part of him is taken Oh, it's just, it was mind-blowing, absolutely mind-blowing, and I cannot wait to start Unholy. I've already bought Unholy, and I'm about to start it this afternoon, I think, because I don't think I can wait any longer. I don't usually jump straight into a sequel of a book, but this one, I don't think I can wait. I need to know what's going to happen, and I just hope that it lives up to Unwind. I've heard that it has, so fingers crossed. Um, so yeah, I would give this book a definite 5 out of 5, and if you're like me, and you've put off reading it because of all the hype surrounding it, don't. It deserves it and you will be hyping it after you've read it too so please pick it up that is my review of unwind um, and I will see you on Friday with my book call and also the other big thing that I'm buying tomorrow I'm so excited so um, again I hope you're all well and you're not suffering with any illnesses like I have been and again I'm really sorry that I've been away for so long so thank you for watching this video and I'll see you on my next one bye